um, to a point right now where I've done it already but you know, what I had was the bow stem on there and uh, obviously it was long so I trimmed it off went in and cut in lines just like I did on the bottom on the shear clamp I cut in fairing lines um, from my outsides my point of reference in this case because I'm gonna cap it um, yeah I probably could have cut this line in here but I I'll fair down some of this because I want to get a nice smooth transition so I cut my front lines or my lines up front on this one and I'll taper down this 2x4 frame and um, you know it's if you see it I mean it's got it's wood obviously so it's got some play in it it's you know, if you hit it it definitely vibrates and um, I played around with the idea of just putting an inside um, board and leaving this open but I think I'm going to cap it all off um, I kind of I actually was going to do this then I got outvoted the wife's like now nah, it looks better with it on there so I got a good bit of sand in the do obviously um, at this point you all know I'm just going to grab the disc sander with some 24 grit on it and and roll out and as I said before that's an excellent product for removing wood but you need to be careful with it. I have my fairing cuts down in here. I took the uh, grinder. Sand it out. Sanded out the fairing cut. I'll take a board, lay it on there. From the other side to here looks pretty good I did the same here and I know I'm at about 3 8 just by looking at it so I could take my pencil just give myself a rough line for 3 8 and I'll grind all this off and my outside line is going to be even with the outside of the rub rail. So I'll just taper that off, take this, check it as I go. I mean, I, I can see right now I got to go more than that 3 8 but we'll give the 3 8 line a shot and then we'll adjust. Since I don't have an even plane and it could go like this. I have to step back and eyeball it to make sure I'm staying straight. this point I've got it close enough that I can finish up all the rest of the bays in between each bay sand these down and then uh, bring out the belt sander and then make good clean runs down the whole thing get nice straight fared out well moving right along kind of going from bay to bay to bay um, you see how much I fared down from the top of the original frame to get it to come right here uh, good thing is it's even on the other side we like that um, 
on the back side here at the transom quarter five eighths approximately just looking not measuring so clamp this board to it just draw a line all the way across there we're gonna grind that down I'll, cr I'll clamp it back here same thing over here I like it when I fair stuff out and the reveals the same that's always a good sign draw my line across fair it down flat you see here same with that I cut the uh, I ground the other side off I'm, I'm going to cut these off I'm afraid to cut them with my good saw because there might be a screw in there so I might end up grinding them so you can see my fair line and where I've sanded here and I on cue have my uh, butterflies flying around and I'm just gonna keep working my way up I probably into it about whew, 35 minutes maybe 40 minutes now on the sanding part so not fast but moving along all right and you can kind of see down through there it's not too bad I'll dress it up with a belt sander and we'll be in. Excuse me. Did I at any point mention sanding in boat building? Because there's a little bit of sanding in boat building. Oh yeah. Oh well, first let's look. Hey. Dude, she's looking pretty stellar on the old lines. But uh, look at all that darn sanding dust. I did cut lines across here and chip out because I got tired of sanding. So, uh, so I did do some stock removal that way. Mostly I sanded it, but now I'm going to uh, vacuum it all out and uh, I don't know, I might be done for the day. <laughs> 